Hello, welcome to DIY Tech Guy. Today we're going to talk about PIR motion sensors. I'm going to show you how to hook them up to an Arduino Uno and write the code to accept input from the device. PIR motion sensors actually detect changes in heat and can detect the movement of the body heat of a person or animal. These sensors are widely used in home security systems, but can be used for any project that requires the detection of a person. I've used these sensors in a few of my Halloween props, where I activate motion of my props when someone approaches my home or gets close to the prop itself. Here are the parts that we're going to need for this project. First, we're going to need a PIR motion sensor. We're going to need an LED to output whether or not we've seen motion or not. We'll need a 220 ohm resistor uh, to bring down the voltage of that LED. We need three male to male jumpers and three male to female jumpers. And finally, we'll need an Arduino and a breadboard. Okay, so let's start the assembly of this project. Uh, the first thing I, I want to point out is that these PIR motion sensors, um, they're pretty cool. Um, you know, they detect motion. It's not like super exact, but it will find, um, you know, a human body or an animal moving into view. Um, they don't use a lot of power. That's why they're usually used with um, battery operated devices. But one thing we have to understand is these three pins, we've got a five volt, a ground, and a signal. And we need to know which ones are which. Because I've had some of these where the pins are in different places. And the way you find out is you pull this top off. And if you look real closely, I don't know if you can see it here. But they are labeled here. Um, I, I doubt you could probably see it in the camera. But one is VCC uh, for the 5 volt, uh, GND for ground, and the middle one here is the um, is the signal, which we're going to take from the Arduino, or we're going to send to the Arduino so we can identify whether um, any motion is detected. Um, what's kind of cool about these is it just sends a digital signal back to the Arduino. So all we got to do is read high or low. We're not reading like a variable uh, voltage that we have to then translate. It also has these two potentiometers here. And if you're having trouble with this, it's probably due to one of these not being set correctly. The first one here on the left, that's the sensitivity adjust, uh, which determines how much motion needs to be detected before it, uh, it triggers. And the second one is the time delay adjust. And the time delay is how long it'll continue to send that signal high once it uh, once it reads some motion. So if you know it's, if someone is walking through and they, and they immediately stop, if this time delay is set very low, it'll, it'll immediately go back to to low and, and not register that there's any presence there. And so you sort of have to play with them a little bit uh, once you get it set up to get it working just right for you. Um, another thing to know about these: these are not meant for like real close up kind of um, detection, although sometimes that'll work. It's mainly for detecting motion in a room or, you know, a backyard or something like that, uh, a larger field of view. So let's start by just laying, our, laying out our components here. As we always do, the first thing we're going to do is power the, power the rails here, our power rails. So we take our 5 volt to our 5 volt rail. We'll take our ground to our negative rail, which will provide power for the entire project here, which will be our, our um, sensor and our LED. Now I already know what this one, how this one is set up. We've got um, power is on the right. So I'm going to use these female to male connectors to connect these. So I got my power, my ground is on the left, and my signal is right here in the middle. And I take my power and my ground, and I connect it to the rail, and the signal will go to pin number eight. And that's the pin we're going to read from to determine whether or not there is motion. 
Um, now, what are we going to do if we sense some motion? Well, we're going to light this LED whenever it detects motion. And this is a great way to, to test the system. You can also use the console output, but I like the LED. And so we're just going to stick that in here. And remember, the longer leg is the positive. And we're going to put that a little further to the right here. Um, now, our positive, we're going to connect to pin 10 so that we can output we can output to that pin and light this LED when there is motion. So that's how we can test this. Now, normally you wouldn't use a motion detector just to light an LED. You'll, you'll do something a little more creative with it. Um, you know, sound an alarm or, you know, or do some other kind of, uh, some other type of uh, reaction. Um, here we go, we're gonna use this. To, then we're gonna take the negative side down to ground with a resistor. I'm using a 220 ohm resistor for this particular LED. Let's see, I can zoom there. Not very pretty bit. Okay. So that's all there really is to it. There's uh, there really isn't much to uh, as far as you know as far as components required for this. this is pretty easy to do. The hardest part is really setting this up. But you would never set up something so simple. This is really just to test the PIR motion sensor. So next, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, write up the code for this. It should be pretty simple. We're only reading a digital output and we're writing up the digital output. So let's get to that next. Okay. Let's go ahead and add our code uh, that we'll need to load onto our Arduino to get this motion sensor to work. Um, we're only using two pins here, so let's set up our integer variables. Uh, we're going to use pin 10 for the LED and pin 8 for the sensor. The LED is just going to be used to show that we've seen motion on the sensor. Uh, we're not really doing anything fancy with it here. We're just trying to uh, use our sensor and test it to make sure everything works. Uh, next thing we need to do is we need to do our setup loop. Um, and in here, we need to define the LED as an output and the sensor as an input. And there's one other piece of code I like to put at the beginning of all my programs um, with uh, any LEDs that I happen to have there. Sometimes I'll even add an LED to do this. But it's a small loop here that runs 10 times, and it'll write the LED high and wait a quarter of a second and then write it low and it'll do that 10 times. So what'll happen is when you turn on your LED, when you turn on your Arduino, it'll blink 10 times. And what that'll do is it'll let you know if you're getting a reset. It's really especially important uh, when working with solenoids or anything with a magnet that may be resetting your device. Uh, but it just lets you know that everything was loaded correctly uh, so you don't kind of go down a rabbit hole trying to find out, you know, why the sensor isn't sensing anything when it could be that you know, the, the, the sketch didn't upload correctly, or there could be some other problem with the Arduino itself. So this is only going to happen once, since this happens in that setup routine. Next, we're going to add some code to the void loop, and this will run repeatedly. And what we're going to do here, we're going to read that sensor. And if it's high, we're going to activate the LED to indicate the motion was detected. So we're going to digital write it high, and we're going to keep it on for a second. Uh, it's 1,000 milliseconds. So once it detects motion, it'll come on and it'll stay for at least one second. And then if it doesn't detect motion, uh, it'll write it to low, which will uh, turn the LED off. And it'll just keep doing this over and over again. So what'll happen is, you know, anytime it detects motion, you're going to have the LED lit. When it doesn't detect motion, uh, the LED will be off. And that's all there is to it. Let's see if it compiles. So we'll verify it. And that looks good. So now all we got to do is load it onto Arduino and maybe make some adjustments to uh, some of those potentiometers on that uh, motion sensor. Uh, they're kind of important for this because depending on how you have your LED set up and how your programming works, uh, you're going to need to adjust those to fine tune them for your particular project. All right, let's go ahead and upload our sketch to the Arduino. All right, it's done compiling. Let's upload it. There we see those lights blinking. That means it's uploading successfully. And there, it's starting up. That's our startup uh, graphic. Okay, here it is with all the components attached and the code loaded on the Arduino. 
You can see it just sensed uh, some motion there and the light came on. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit further. Now if I move back, there it goes again, sensing some motion. Uh, everything seems to be working as designed. Yeah, I'll keep moving in and out and you'll see it lights up. Now these sensors aren't really designed for really close up uh, detection. It's more to sense a room. So it's sometimes it's a little difficult to get it to fire off. As the heat of my body moves in and out of the zone, you'll see that light light up. And as long as you um, adjust those potentiometers on the device, it should uh, be pretty accurate. Uh, and you'll be able to fine tune it for your exact project. Thanks for watching my video. Please consider subscribing or clicking the bell icon to be notified of future videos.